Hello and welcome to another exciting Let's Play starring me, L1011 Widebody, and today we're going to be playing Mutant League Hockey on the Sega Genesis from Electronic Arts 1994, one of my favorite hockey games of all time. In commemoration of the NHL's lockout, we're going to be playing with the league where the players aren't locked out, they're just killed. All team logos and names are trademarks of Electronic Arts, featuring some guys. People from the Mutant League cartoon, if you're from the 90s and remember that kind of crap. Oh, Mutant League Hockey. I love this game so much. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I used to play this game all the time uh, with my friend Andrew growing up. We would play uh, cooperative against the computer and uh, beat them up. So, Mutant League Hockey is roughly based on the NHL 94 uh, game engine. You can kind of see the resemblance here where it's got the players, they skate in from the side and do their little, you know, moves and stuff. You got all kinds of goofy team names. Toxic All Pros. A lot of these teams are spoofs of actual teams, like the Blackhearts are the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Buggy Skull. I don't know who that is. A lot of them are named after actual players. Armor, which would be uh, Steve Larmer, I believe. And Maggotson. Hmm, I don't know who that is. Whoops, no, don't go to demo mode. Are you trying to say I'm boring? Bone lick. I don't remember the Blackhawks very well. So the Bruiser Bots, that's Boston. You've got Adam Jolts, which is like Adam Oates. <laughs> Chili Liars, which is the Philadelphia Flyers. Skin some more, which would be Brindamore, I believe. Rod Brindamore. Who else? Skin Gross, Eric Lindros. It's a lot easier to get a concussion in the Mutant League. Dark Star Dragons, or just some random team. Of course, the Dead Things, which are Detroit. Iser Gone, who is Iserman. It's ironically named the Dead Things. Considering for most of the 70s and 80s they were called the Dead Wings because they were so bad. Delve Deggio, like Alex Delvecchio. Who else is in here? Deadskin Razors? I don't think that's a real team. The Derangers, like the New York Rangers. Messier? Or Messier, which would be Mark Messier. Ice Slashers. Willie! Lizard Kings, which is like Los Angeles. This is back when they were good. Ha ha ha! Mame Zitsky, eh? That's like Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, I know, I'm just fun with you. Oh, Robotail. That's like Luke Robotai. Yeah, the Kings are pretty good. They won the whatever trophy. Furry! That would be, uh, Yari Curry. And not a reference to the fandom. Mighty Weenies. The <laughs> Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Montreal Cadavers, which be the Canadians. Rocket Richard, Mutant Monsters. I think that's. Oh, Bones Jackson, the main character from the Mutant League cartoon. Puck Sucker Pukes, which is Pittsburgh. They have Le Puke, who is Lemieux. Screaming Evils, I don't think that's anybody. Puncture. I get it. The Shrimps, that's like San Jose. I think the only player I recognize from them is uh, Buffoon, who's Pat Falloon. I remember him. He was like the only good player they had at the time. There he is, Buffoon. Slay City Slayers, they have KT Slayer or something from the TV show. St. Mucus Ooze, which is like St. Louis. Rammy, I don't know who that is. But there's a Brett Hull guy in here, I think. Anger! Um, 
Where is he? He'd be right wing. There he is, Brit Skull. Yay, Terminator Trolls. That's another. I guess those guys are trolls. I use, always call them goblins, but I guess I'm wrong. Turbo Techies or some. Gil 9000, I guess, is a player character. War Slammers, Galaxy Aces. Yeah, okay, let's start doing stuff, though. Set play mode to playoffs. Best two out of three, period length, eight minutes. Stadium, well, we can't change that. And playoff mode, obviously. See, penalties, of course, on, because penalties are fun. Reserves are enabled, because that means more people to kill. Death index all the way up to annihilation. Let's see. Now, pad one is me. Actually, let's. First go to team description, because I have to confess I am an unabashed Red Wings fan. I know, I can hear you exploding through the internet. So, one of the cool, uh, funny things about this game is you can go to team description, like this. And it <laughs> has a little description of the, the team. Dead things. The thing's offensive philosophy is better dead than bled. They hold the season scoring record in their bony grasp, and no living thing is as speedy as them. They terminate rallies by terminating the ralliers. Which sounds about right for, uh, about, what was it, 1993 Red Wings. Whoops. Mighty Weenies. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Bobot. My chipset is state-of-the-art technology. Simple calculation of dead things playing skills and scoring capacity is high, even though they were once flesh-covered aerobic bipeds. Kind of a spoof on Scotty Bowman and uh, Robocop there, I suppose. You know, he's from Detroit. The phone is ringing. Whoever it is, I don't want to talk to him. So a lot of these guys are, are like, uh, spoofs of actual players like Iser gone is Iserman, Steve Iserman. He's really good. Who's on the phone? Oh, it's that damn scam person again. to disconnect doses. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, up yours, robotic freak. Uh, let's see, number nine. Gory Chow is like Gordy Howe. I'm Gory Chow, and I play starting left wing for the dead things. Dig my ratings, they're killer. Del Vecchio, Alex Del Vecchio. Pockmark, I don't know who that is. Zitstrom would be Nick Lidstrom, who just retired last year. Uh, these are all the guys that I remember from my youth when I was just a child getting into hockey and its glorious violence and of course the skill required Shovelhead that would be Tim Shovelday and Shovelhead is certainly a lot nicer than what we would call him after he let in six or seven goals let's see head is off that would be Sergei Fedorov. He skates a lot faster in reality than he does in the game. Speed is only seven in here. He Spur, that would be Sean Burr. Leper, that would be Ray Shepard. Brazon would be Steve Chason. Lespleen, um, number 33. Is that Martin LaPointe? I don't know. Don't knock my ratings, they're excellent. And Sawbones, which would be Terry Sawchuck. He's pretty lousy for an NHL Hall of Famer. Mute guy. Legs are gone. Number 22. Doesn't ring a bell. Eyes are burnt. That would be Paul Isabart. <laughs> Ignore my ratings, they're marginal. And, of course, Bob Probert. 
I'm Prober, and I play third line right wing for the dead things. Catch my ratings, they're extreme. And of course he's an enforcer. Give blood, fight Probert. McCriminal would be Brad McCrimmon. And I don't know who that is. Cough. 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 Number six? Gagging. I guess that's, that's probably just a joke. Heh. <laughs> Rip your head off. Probably reference to all the Russians. Brutus, Bonehead, Zerk, Brawler, and Morrow! I don't know any of those guys, but it's still kind of fun to look at them. And they've got some trick plays, which I don't know how to use, so I won't be using any. Let's see. Let's go to the playoffs. Let's do playoffs best two out of three. Huh. Can I change the other team? Yeah, let's make it interesting. Let's play the Pittsburgh Pukes. Because I hate Pittsburgh and their Sidney Crosby's. So the great thing about Mutant League Hockey is you get to kill all the other players, and that's what I'm about to do. Here we go into the playoffs. We first round is playing the Pukes. Also the cool, we will rock you thing. If we win this playoff against the pukes, we may earn enough bonus money to buy that chip replacement for our poor old widowed motherboard. I get it. I get jokes. So the A button is used to punch. Wow, that was fast. Now we have a fight. Isergon and Looney. Uh, Looney, who would that be? The problem I've always had with fighting, I can't quite seem to figure out how it works. And I usually lose. Which makes me unhappy. But I do like the little mini game that they have. Unfortunately, it's not that fun. Five minute penalty for fighting and losing. Sorry, Stevie, why I let you down. He'll be down on the ice long enough to get frostbite. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to read it. We will, we will rock you. Oh, anyway, where was I? Okay, A button is to punch, right? B button changes player. Also passes. And it all and C is the shoot button. Shoot at the goalie. Of course, you can play this like an actual hockey game if you feel like it. Whoops, I tripped over a shark in the ice. But I usually just go out and kill everybody. Kill them! Punch! Whoops. Air horn? That's not what I wanted. Yeah, beat him up. Hmm, seem to be having a little bit stickiness with the controls. Shoot! I missed. So even though it's based on the really fluid um, controls of NHL 94, the controls in, in Mutant League are a lot more sticky, for lack of a better term. Ooh. Oh, that guy's got a chainsaw. I gotta fix that. There's all kinds of weapons you can pick up. Oh, there's a fight. You can pick up weapons. Pockmark and Looney. Looney again, eh? There's the Looney. They're all little Looney. I suck at fighting, and I just got my ass beat. Bruised Ego's one. That's me. Five minute penalty for fighting and losing like a wimp. Oh, now I got two guys in the box. That's not fair. Now he's a bone chip off the old block. That's not that funny. Anyway, you can pick up all kinds of weapons and, and weapons let you do all kinds of damage. I got a hatchet. Hatchet. 
Yeah! Oh, another fight? I don't want more fights! I'm not good at fighting! Brad McCrimmon is fighting some guy. Can't... Whoops, paused. Oh, I paused only to delay the inevitable punch to the face. Yeah. I wish there was a way you could disable fights, because I don't know how they work. There you go. Load up the penalty box. But that's what made Sega Genesis hockey games great. I love the stupid expression on that guy's face. You always hurt the ones you love. Let's see, let's go to reserves and play. So, I can't figure out how to do special plays. There's like something you're supposed to do. Exploding puck, but I don't think that's how it works. I always like this, he's in the pen! He's got like the funeral gates in front of him. Aw, oh, Gordy Howe is dead. So is Paul Isabart, man. Oh, and Bob Probert. Oh, Bob Probert is dead for real. Now I'm kind of sad. Let's look at the statistics while we're screwing around. I have two face-offs, one, six hard checks, zero weenie checks. I've had four deaths this game. And they've only had three. That's not good. I need to kill more people. Well, I know an easy way to do that. Like that. Shoot! Oh, also, somehow you can be down to, like, only two players on the ice. Because, um, I don't know, there's no rules. Or the rules are crappy. Where the rules have no name. Punch that guy. Come on, Nick Lidstrom. Kill him. I know you're Swedish, but you have to have some anger in you. Yeah, I blew that robot up. Punch that guy. Yeah, I just love it. All the blood and violence. It's like hockey, only better. Or something. Oh, and the goalie can take a big chop at people. Oops. It looks like uh, Lidstrom exploded. I'm gonna blow up this troll or whatever. Yeah, he's dead now. Ray Shepard shoots and it's saved by... I guess it would be Tom Barrasso at this time, wouldn't it? Chop! Chop! Ah. Uh, who is it that... Oh, it's you! What happened? Oh, it's the end of the period. That's got the slug eating the stuff off the ice. It's all very heavy metal-ish, you know, the movie. View statistics. Faceoffs one, three to one, hard checks, eleven to thirteen, deaths this game, six to seven. Under the ice. So when you explode a landmine, there'll be a hole in the ice and you can fall in. And then that player will be ineligible. I've got a lot of penalties because I suck at fighting. Equivalent scores are insufficient to meet victory requirements. Reboot internal game drives and decompress Don't Be a Wuss program. Yes, sir, Mr. Scotty Bowman. Scotty Bowman the robot. Steve Iserman's gonna fuck you all up. Because, well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's not really what he's known for. Okay, goalie goes this way. Oh, he scores! And then he died. That's okay. I could sleepwalk through a game with the things. Their defense wouldn't even wake me up. Yeah, they taunt you after they score. But that's okay, because you don't really need to score points to win the game. All you really need to do is kill all the other players. <laughs> Isergon versus Yarmir Yager. Oh, that wasn't even a fair fight, was it? Well, everybody loves Yarmir Yager. He's rocking the mullet, you know. Jamina Dagger. Five-minute penalty for fighting and losing. 
It's not my fault Steve Eiserman doesn't know how to fight. Eh, just skip it. Let's go. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Oh man, another fight? Bonehead? Smacka? Come on! Oh, I got him down to like a little bit of bar of health and it still didn't freaking matter because I don't know how to fight! Two broken nails? I'm a skeleton, I don't even have nails. If I'm in a penalty for fighting and losing. Smacka. He'll be down on the ice long enough to get frostbite even though I already bit him. Okay. Two on three hockey! Boom! Shoot! Oh, there's a weapon over there somewhere, I think. I thought I saw something get thrown onto the... Oh. That's a health thingy. Oh, the hatchet! Oh, a chainsaw! Give me the chainsaw! I got a chainsaw! Yeah! Eat that! I'm gonna fuck everybody up now with my chainsaw. Oh shit. Yeah, this game is... Oh! I know what happened. They ran the confusion play and now my players go backwards. I remember that play. Chop! Oh, health. Oh yeah, there's bonus points you can pick up to restore your health. The little, like, bone things or something. Kill! Explode, skeletons! Die, you son of a bitch! Man, I wish I could do this to the real penguins. Kill the goalie! Hey, I scored! Sorry about that. And then I blew up some guy. I could not live with myself if I kicked the pukes when they were down, but then I don't live at all. In an aerobic sense. That goal electrified the crowd. That must be why the place smells like burning hair. Either that or Motley Crue just played. We will, we will. The Pukes dressing room has turned into a funeral home. They don't even have enough players left to act as pallbearers, so they forfeit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I killed your team. And that's how you play Mutant League Hockey, by killing everybody. Few statistics. One to one, seven shots, twelve shots. Two point scores. I think if you shoot from past the blue line or the red line, you score two points if you score. Pukes are one for three on power plays. I had 25 minutes of penalties, which is... Well, the game is only, if a period is only eight minutes, that's more more penalties than minutes in the game, whatever. Five face-offs, one, 14 hard checks, 15 deaths for the pukes because they're a bunch of wusses. Yeah, ignore that, fights one count. It's A for stats. <laughs> Isercon is 10. 10 penalty minutes for losing two fights. Um. Oh. It doesn't keep track of, like, kills and stuff. Oh well. That's okay. Here's my password. You can use this password in your own game. So, we move on to the second round. The interesting thing about the way that Mutant Hockey League. Mutant League Hockey works is that and it's a best two out of three series the uh, players that are killed don't come back so that's why I didn't have to play two games to win my series does that make sense so it's best two out of three but I they forfeited both games because I killed all their players and I'm going to do it again to the turbo techies who are robots I will kill all their robots and ship them to China. Advancement in playoffs is potentially compromised by parity between this team's units and the techies' units. 
You didn't say anything when I was playing the puck sticker fucks and they were like two skulls better than me. Get oh shit. There he scored. That's okay. Punch them guys after the thing. I'm so cool I must have extra insulation on my electrical system. Bro 3000. That's actually kind of clever. Oh he's got a disco ball too. And flags. Yeah, the robots are kind of cool. I did play as the Bruiser bots one time through the whole playoffs. That was pretty fun. The robots are fun. Oh, also, I think they uh, they keep the weapons between uh, between uh, games. Steve Eiserman just uses his fist. Also, the uh, the uh, AI actually seems to uh, pick up on your uh, killing abilities and your strategy, and I don't know if that's um, that that's just me being uh, reading too much into it, or if it's actually the AI is actually doing it. Yeah, I know, you're so cool, you have electrical shortages or something. But it seems like when I'm more interested in killing on the ice, my uh, teammates, my artificial intelligence teammates, seem more interested in attacking. Hey, Bob Probert has a ball and chain! You're gonna get fucked up now! Aw oh, yeah! Aw oh, yeah! Kill them all! Brad McCribbin versus Nitram. Yeah, what a fight! Oh, I'm the greatest boxing man ever to ever live. Brad McCribbin, you're my hero. I wish you wouldn't have died in that truck crash, though. I'm sorry. The criminal, two minute penalty for fighting. He'll be down on the ice long enough to get all okay, games over. That is true. Brad McCrivet did did die in a automobile accident. I believe it was a truck. It was very sad. Boom! Yeah, eat fist, you freaks. I'm gonna score. Maybe not. Let me try again. Maybe not. I'm blowing up. Yeah, that was quick. See? Look at that. The Turbo Techies are short-handed. All the way up to the shoulder. They forfeit due to player shortage. <laughs> I've killed all their robots. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. <laughs> we had three shots. I love this game. You could, you don't even need to score. <laughs> you just go out there and kill everybody. It's fantastic. Faceoffs won four. That's this game. Fifteen. <laughs> Passing percentage zero percent. That's this game. Who died? That would be... Oh. Oh well. God, I love mutant hockey. Here's another passcode for you. Now we are into the conference championship. The Things vs. The Kings. That's Detroit vs. Los Angeles. Now I will get to explode Wayne Gretzky. I'm looking forward to it. Advancement in playoffs is potentially compromised by parity between... You said that the last time, and I fucked the shit out of them. For being a computerized robot, you don't seem to pick up on trends very easily. Look at that. Killing the guys right off the face-off. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah! Ask me no questions! Oh, he scored. <laughs> the problem with pucks is that you can't spike them after successful drives, so I drive spikes into the goalies instead. That's actually kind of funny. 
bloody. Bloody, bloody. Charlie Huddy? Huh. Here comes a face-off from Slash. Skeleton Slash from Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Ironically, Steve Eiserman is the only guy who doesn't seem to have a weapon. But that's because he's a good guy, huh? Ooh, there's a chainsaw! Oh, there's a chainsaw! Where is... Where's Steve Eiserman? Oh! No! Ho -ho. I want him! Well, pick player! Pick right player! God! There he is! Get chainsaw! Yes! I think I did it! Oh, but I think he's dead now. Oh, well. Bob Probert will screw everybody up. Big spiel. Oh, Mark your calendar. There's something you're not going to see very often. Bob Prober getting beat in a fight. Even if it is a skeleton, Bob Prober. Penalty for fighting and losing. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bob. I'm an embarrassment to the city of Detroit. I didn't mean to let you down. That's okay. Punch, punch, punch! Oh! I guess I didn't get the, uh... I didn't get the chainsaw, because he's still got his regular old punch. Punch! Shoots! Shooting is for losers. I have a hack. A tomahawk or something. Look at the puck. Oh, Steve Eiserman exploded. He fell in the landmine. And the puck is... Oh, there it is. And the puck bounced into the stands from the hole in the ice. Oh, well. Now it's from time for some Sergei Fedorov action. I chop at you good. Yeah! How do you like that, huh? Chop. Boom! Explode! Blood and guts! Brad McCrimmon is coming to ruin your day and crash your robot into the exploding zone. Okay. Whoops. Whoop! Ah, well. It doesn't matter if he scores because I'm going to kill him before he can react. I'm so cool, I must have extra insulation. Don't you say anything interesting? Look at statistics. The Kings have seven shots and two goals. If this wasn't Mutant League, that would be a terrible goals against average. They do have 15, <laughs> 15 deaths, though, which means they're almost gone. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to kill everybody. Yeah. Oh, you have a fist. Hey, wait, no. I saw a chainsaw. I want it. Forfeit. Losers. Their goalie is dead and turned into a giant face. The king's dressing room has turned into a funeral home. They don't even have enough players left to act as pallbearers, so they forfeit. I win. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Only <laughs> two shots. I know, it is kind of unfair, isn't it? But, really, how do you not play a game like this for the fighting and killing and violence and destruction? Violence and bloodshed! Violence and bloodshed! Violence and bloodshed! Ah. New password! Oh, we're playing Philadelphia in the finals! That'll be awesome because fuck Philadelphia! Monster Cup Championship Game 1. 
The Liars units are so close to us in ability as possible, their existence is a violation of our patents. That's kind of ironic considering how much patent law is in the news today. Yeah, well, I'm gonna fuck you up. Ugh, Mama said fuck you up. Yeah! Punch. Oh yeah, once you get to the end of the, uh... Whoa, the puck exploded and blew up Sh Shovel Day. I won't miss him. We've got better goalies anyway. Jimmy Howard, Dominic Hasek, Mike Vernon, uh, Greg Adams, Terry Sawchuk, Jimmy Howard, I think I already said him. I need to start killing people. This is the championship game after all. People came to see death, and death is what we shall provide. Brutus versus Beetle. Oh, I think I got the handle of this. Are you not entertained? Yay! I won. Brutus, two minute penalty for fighting. Now he's a bone chip off the old block. I heard that before. Penalty for fighting and losing. Way to be a loser, loser. New statistics. <laughs> I've already killed five of the Flyers players. <laughs> yeah, punch him right on the face off. That's great. Ooh, restore health or something. I don't know what the white one does. The red one restores health. Oh, my defense is crappy. But that's probably because I'm too busy killing people. Hey, a penalty! I didn't know those happened. You are playing as if you need new shocks. We shall... We shall shock you with a tractor battery and jumper cables if you spend any more time in the penalty box. <laughs> that is off five minutes for termination. <laughs> oh, nine deaths. God, I love this game. It's like the best hockey game ever. Bob Prober taking a face off. Breaking a ball and chain over some guy's face. Yeah, look at that! Give blood, fight Probert. Probert's gonna fuck everybody. Aw, oh, it's on now. Oh. Oh, I thought I had it figured out, but I didn't. Reckon. I guess that's Recky. Mark Recky. He's like a million years old now. Five minute penalty for fighting and losing. Bob Probert's probably spinning in his grave. He's gonna come back to life and punch me in the back of the head for losing fights for him. Yeah, yeah, you say the same damn thing every time. Few statistics. Twelve deaths! Almost there! Ah, oh, I guess we are. The liar's dressing room is turned into a funeral home. <laughs> they don't have enough players left to act as pallbearers, so they forfeit. I am the champion. We will, we will rock you. View statistics. <laughs> Three shots. Zero scores. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> One shot. Zero scores. Two face-offs, one. Eight hard checks. 100% passing, two passes. <laughs> Twelve deaths. We've won the... <laughs> the Mutant Cup. The Mutant Stanley Cup. It's called the Monster Cup. Hooray! <laughs> Oh man.
I love this game so much. I spent so many hours playing this game with uh, friends. It's just so great. The gratuitous violence, the the ridiculously 80s-ness of it all. With all the guitars and the, the bones and the skulls and things and the referee wearing the slash hat when he drops the puck and everything. I just, I just love this game. It's so great. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed watching me demolish the entire League of Mutants. And until next time, I will see you around.